Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Little Books and Afrocan. We just um, we just finished class. We're still reviewing chapter 22. We just took a quiz today on chapter 20, which is the positive and negative contractions. I was up studying for that. I haven't really filmed lately because I've been so bogged down with these last two chapters from chapter 20, 21, and we're currently on 22. I've been like bogged down and so discouraged to study, but I forgot, like, you know, that's why I started this channel to show you guys everything. And if I'm not filming and showing you guys the tough parts, what's the point of doing this? You know, it becomes unrealistic. Anyway, so class just ended, so everybody ran out of here. <laughs> I'm just um, in here packing up my bag. I'm gonna be, I'm leaving now. Um, I'm gonna be going to a library by my house and drilling these words. If I don't go to our library, I'm gonna do it at home. But I definitely have to practice because I, stenography, you know, learning stenography, learning the art of stenography, it's supposed to be a joyous thing. It's supposed to be fun. And I loved it when I was doing the chapters that, you know, I was familiar with. So I'm feeling a little frustrated now because I haven't really been practicing as much as I need to. So I'm gonna go home and drill it today and this entire weekend until I get it because you know that I'm gonna get the I'm gonna find the fun in it again um yeah so be right back guys I'm about to jump on the train and head back home bye Hey guys, so what I realized was once I get home and practice or I get to the library and practice, I discover things that I don't necessarily pick up while I'm in class and the professor is teaching it to me. So for chapter 22, practicing at home allowed me to realize that words that you hear that cuh, like junk, not cuh, sorry, that cuh, let me see, junk, junk, that cut. Yeah, words like junction, function, um, fraction, that cut sound, you should, once you hear that cut sound, that cut sound, you should be reaching your index finger or whatever finger feels more comfortable to you. You should be reaching over to hit the asterisk and the final BGS. That's just something that, you know, I picked up while practicing at home and for the shun ending you should just be reaching over and um stroking that gs final gs as well as the st ending um you should be reaching over to try to stroke that asterisk and the gs as well so those things that i picked up while practicing at home it just became so clear i don't know it's weird it just became really really clear practicing at home and like noticing that other than that chapter 22 seemed a little daunting on the face of it but once you keep at it it's gonna become way easier thank you guys for watching bye Silas, the marvelous producer.